I'm trying very hard to make this hat work. I mean, it looks a bit better on me now, but anyway, what are you looking at me like that for? Oh, by the way, you can have these. You can have those back. I don't want them anymore. Thank you very much. Well, anyway, while I was serving my time... Let me guess. Someone stole your sweet roll? You're all just a bunch of jokers, aren't you, around here? Watch what you're doing. Well, <laughs> watch what I'm doing, is it now? Yeah, whatever. Um, anyway, while I was serving my time in there, turns out there were two other blokes in there. There was some rich dude... Staying safe, I hope? ...who didn't deign to speak with me at all. And there was a Khajiit in there, without any clothes on, and he kept giving me this funny look. It was a bit weird. But it was like he was surprised to see me for some reason, which was a little bit odd. I'm going to go get some food at the Bean Barb first. Apparently that's the name of the inn in this town. Um... But I'm curious. That's for sure. Well, welcome to Riften. I got the usual welcome in this town, it seems. Turn up at the gates and get immediately thrown in jail. Great, good for you, mate. I need a drink. And something that's not bread and cheese. I've had enough bread and cheese for a lifetime. Do you want a drink? Uh, yeah, actually I do. Mr. Talon J, you thank you very much. Well, um, um, uh, what's on the menu? Depends. Are you thirsty, hungry, both? Mostly the former. Ooh, Cliff Racer, Velvet Lachance, White Gold Tower. Whoa, my days. That is expensive, but I want one. Yes. If you'll excuse me, I have other things to attend to. The return of the Did they? No, I've still got it. Okay. I was a bit worried they might have thrown some of my stuff away. This is one of the signs. This the research signs journal is invaluable. Is pleased with your constant inebriation. Put down your flagons filled with your vile liquids and embrace the teachings of the handmaiden of kind. Well, what if we like being constantly inebriated? We talked about this, Talon. Does this happen a lot around here? Some sort of an understanding? These people must be made aware of the chaos they've sown. <sighs> Priests, man. Priests. All heard of the dragons and their return. There's no need to use them as an excuse to harass our customers. I, um, I'm going to go sit down. Hello, what's this? We're not My friend, I am ready to pay what I owe. If I'm in the rift in jail, I will be waiting. In I go you out just keep the sermons at the temple and let us all sin in peace curiouser and curiouser said nils to the barkeep um what's this monthly events harvest end yes yeah, still not come up yet excuse me um do you have a bell or something i could ring for service here i feel i'm being ignored slightly whatever i'm gonna drink my drink very nice. Okay. Aha, a fellow Nord. I trust you're bringing the fight to the Empire. Excuse me. I'll just move along, I think. Um. Well, it's got a bit more Atmos than the Bannered Mayor, I'll say that much, but, um. The patrons aren't quite as friendly. Fresh meats and produce. Do I have anything I need to sell while I'm here? Uh, apparently, yeah, one or two bits. Um, I could do with mixing some potions as well. I wonder if there's an alchemist in town. Ah, I've got my more and pestle, haven't I, actually? Just realised. 
Um, oh, hold on a minute. What, what's the date? It is the 27th of last seed. Is this... Is this all out here because it's Harvest End? I can't take any of these. I, I thought these were supposed to be free. Still cheated. Never done in Whoa. Honest day's work in your life for all that coin you're carrying. Hey, lad. Actually, Honest Work is my middle name. I'm saying you've got the coin, but you didn't earn a septum of it honestly. I can tell. Oh, you can, can you? Wait, is this because you saw me getting thrown in the J? Uh, you've got the wrong idea, mate. I'm not. No, no it's, it's my wealth is none of your business. Oh, but that's where you're wrong, lad. Wealth is my business. Maybe you'd like a taste. Yeah, no, no, I'm not interested in whatever it is you're selling. Uh, well, actually, that depends. I've got a bit of an errand to perform, but I need an extra pair of hands. Uh huh. And in my line of work, extra hands are well paid. Uh huh. What do I have to do? Simple. I'm going to cause a distraction. You're gonna steal Medesi's silver ring oh, from a strong okay. box under his stand. Once you have it, I want you to place it in Branche's pocket without him noticing. <laughs> you think I could do that, do you? I break the law again. Are you kidding? I just got out of the Riften jail. Sorry. I usually have a nose for this kind of thing. Never mind then, lad. If you change your mind, come find me. That is pretty bloody unlikely, mate. <sighs> right. Um, what is this? The Blackbriar Meadery. Sure, why not? Grab a few bottles. For the road, you understand. Do you... Do you sell stuff Welcome. up front here? Allow me to recommend the Black Briar Mead, the purest brew in all of Skyrim. Allow me to recommend the Black Briar Mead, he says, as if he sells anything else at the Black Briar Meadery. What makes it so special? Lady Maven's been developing the secret recipe for Black Briar Mead over the last several decades. She uses a very secret blend of spices, fresh honey from Golden Glow Estate, and specially constructed aging casks to ensure the best flavor. Even when you get to the last sip in your flagon, it'll taste just as good as the first. Uh, everyone, everyone, everyone puts stuff like that on the back of the bowl. Damn it. Sorry. I'm not very good at this. Look, just don't say anything to Maven, will you? I've spent weeks trying to get that right, and if she sees how stupid I am, she'll get rid of me. All right, from one apparently stupid person to another, secret's safe with me. Besides, there are worse things than being fired. Yeah, fired. Sure, that's what I meant. Oh. Tell me about Maven Blackbriar, then. She's an absolute pleasure to work for. In fact, I almost feel guilty accepting pay from her. Why, She's that bad, week, huh? I was commenting to my fellow meadery workers just how lucky we are to be working for such a charitable family. Wow, she really is that bad. Uh, I'm, gl I'm glad you're happy, mate. Wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. Sure am. I thank my lucky stars every time I look to the night sky that Maven took me in and gave me this opportunity. Aha. Yeah, sure. Um, For pity's sake, I'll buy some bottles off you. Take a look. Reserve. Come on. Oh, it was a little bit better. 4,200 seconds instead of 3,600. But dear lord, the price! Uh, no. I'll take. I don't have. Uh, fine, I'll take two. Come back and see us again. Uh huh. Not with those prices. Right. Is there an alchemist around here? What is this? Pawned prawn? Maybe this will do the trick. Welcome to the pawned prawn. Come on in, take a look around. Okay. Welcome to the pawned prawn. What can I do for you? Your shop has... an unusual name. Catchy, isn't it? 
In my youth, I was a fisherman. I had a beautiful ship named the Brawny Prawn. But the years have a way of creeping up on you. I ended up selling that ship to open this place. Seemed only fitting to name it after her. Well, changed it a bit, I suppose. If I had been smarter, I would have kept my boat. Coming to this city was a big mistake. Yeah, I know the feeling. Um, it's just pawned prawn. I, I wasn't sure whether to expect a pawn shop or a fishmonger, honestly. But hey, whatever. Um, so what's wrong? What what isn't wrong with Riften? <laughs> the question is, yeah, what see. isn't wrong with Riften? Yeah, exactly. This city is corrupt, rotten to the core. No one cares about anything except themselves and how much coin they can make off the misery of others. Maybe you should speak to them. <laughs> yeah, good one. Yeah, yeah, sure. I don't think that's going to help him very much. Um, all right, let me see what you got for sale. Some may call this junk. Me? I call them treasures. Yes, and the problem with you merchants is that you take my treasures and you'll pay me the price of junk for them. Kids. Well, I've sold everything I can to him that... Good day. He'll actually pay me more than a couple of gold coins for, which wasn't a lot as it turned out. Mostly just a few extra potions I didn't need and uh, that amethyst. If you're looking for anything to sell for a fair price, I run the pawn prawn over by the market. So are you talking to someone else? Anyway. Uh, is there an alchemist in town at all? Oh, there's a whole lower level as well. Look at that. Too lazy to walk, eh? Well, you found the right place. Excuse me? What? Is that a really strange way of saying I'm going to break your legs? That's sort of the attitude I've come to expect from this town. Um, I'm really getting tired of your excuses. When you borrowed the money, you said you'd pay huh? back on time and for double the usual fee. I know I but how oh, she's, I not, the she's talking to him. Uh, Next time, keep okay. your plans quiet and nothing would have happened to you. Alchemist? Anywhere? Alchemist? Hey, for an alchemist? Look at me that way. Who are you to judge me? I wasn't looking at you! I hate this town. That's the temple, I suppose. Interesting crane setup you've got. I suppose they bring stuff in on boats and then they lift it up. Like, yeah, that makes sense. Whose goat is that running amok? Anyway. Uh, that's the city exit there. This doesn't look like a... Uh, it's an orphanage. That's definitely not an alchemist. Uh, let's go check out the lower level, shall we? What do we got? Um, somebody's house. The rat. Uh, I don't want to go next to it this way. I think that's, that seems like a really terrifically bad place to go. I've had enough bad experiences in Whiterun sewers, let alone this place. Alan Dawes house. It's Arvel's house. I don't know what I'm expecting, really. None of them have got signposts on them, so. Lots of very tattered banners for some reason. Either that or people are hanging out there washing to dry. Washing with a lot of holes in it. Uh... Oh, here we go. Elgrim's Elixirs. And it's not open. <laughs> yeah, typical. Bloody. Typical. Uh, beggar's Row. Uh, maybe not. And the sun's starting to set. Good. Looks like I'm going to be stuck here for the night then. Um, fine. Yeah, this place would probably drive me to drink too if I lived here. Um, Visiting Riften? Oh, welcome at the Temple of Mara. Yeah, I'd rather not though. It's all the same to you. 
Anything interesting on here? Retrieve heirloom from Honey Strand Cave. Yeah. I presume you're bothering me for a good reason. Your Maven Black Prime. No, madam. No. No, not at all. See Balaman perform miracles with steel, eh? Drunk as well. See, everyone else gets to have the free bead, but not me. It's because I don't live here. Maybe. Right. I put this off long enough. Curiosity beckons. Who the heck was that Khajiit in the in the jail that was giving me funny looks? Excuse me. I want to go in. Hey, you're not supposed to be down here. Official business only. <sighs> Dude, I was just locked. I'm, it's fine. I'm allowed to be here. Sure. And I'm Queen Baron Zaya. Now tell me another one. Well, you can't tell me it wasn't worth a try. Oh, I can't believe uh, it. It's just how this town works, isn't it? Fine. Can I pass now? Sure. That'll do just fine. Go on ahead. All right, then. I hate this town. Right. Important. The crazy Khajiit and sell one is not to be disturbed. He paid his good money for that cage, so don't... He paid to be locked up in this... 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 Something hole? Um... Uh, if he's still in there in a month, I think we should enforce a little rent increase. He pays rent? I doubt we'll get the chance, though. You've all seen the way he looks. Uh, it wouldn't be surprised if he tries to end his life soon. If you see him in a particularly suicidal mood, get in there and stop him. He's been using the key we gave him, so... If you need it in there in a hurry, use the spare in the broken strongbox above the fireplace. Dead man, man can't pay rent. Broken strongbox above fireplace. Ah. That would be this. I'll just take that. Right. Just because I'm in a cage doesn't mean you have to stay in yours, Mr. Dragonfly. Yes, he talks to himself. That was the other thing. Um. That makes two of us, I suppose. Oh, hello. You were awfully quiet. I didn't notice you when I was in here. Let me out of here, damn it. I'm not a criminal. Look, for what it's worth, I believe you, because. Knowing this place, you're probably telling the truth, but nothing I can do, I'm afraid. <sighs> Hello? Yes, it's me. I'm back. Come to kill me at the last, have you? Thank the gods. I can bear the guilt no longer. All you did was look at me funny. Uh, what? I know I must die. Beware, though. My newfound honor demands I defend myself. I, I'm sorry. Do you, if we met, and I don't remember, or something? I am in no mood for jokes. Strike me down. Take your revenge. Look, I'm not in the business of killing people for looking at me funny. That's what the other people in this town do. Um, who are you? I've, I've, what are you on about, mate? You don't remember? Uh, that is my fault also. I am your so-called friend, Inigo. I was the one who killed you. I tried anyway. I am guilty. Kill me. Well, I don't know what I expected, but it wasn't that. Um, clearly, if you killed me, you didn't do a very good job, did you? Why are you really here? After I shot you, I finally realized my mistake and tried to turn myself in. Your body was gone. The guards did not believe me. They said I was wasting their time. I had to pay them to put me in this cell. It is where I belong. I needed to repent. I need to repent. Uh, I... Um... 
Look, I um, whatever whatever happened, clearly I don't remember it. Um, but look, look, I don't think it's me. I think I think that's I think I don't think I don't think it's me. I I really I think mistaken identity is what's going on here, mate. But um, yeah. You are the person I remember. I would recognize your smell anywhere. My life is yours to My take. Smell. Do it. Are you saying I'm smelly? God, a woman called me fat the other day, and now I've been called smelly. I, what did I do to deserve this? Anyway, um, look, let's agree to disagree. If you, ooh, ah, okay, here's an idea. I am in the market for some help, as it turns out. Let's agree to disagree on this whole I mistaken identity thing. But but if you'd like to help me do jobs and things, get a cut of the pay, you know, stop me from being horribly killed by bandits, that sort of thing. You got some scars. You've probably been in a few fights before. Yeah? What'd you say? I fight with you. Yes, emphasis on with though. Yeah, with. Um, yeah. Don't 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 waste your life rotting in here. Come come with me. Or die defending you. Yes, I accept. I feel lighter in my heart now. You have given me this opportunity. You will not regret this. I'm not so sure about that. Um, just uh, watch where you aim that bow of yours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> J jokes, I've got jokes, yeah. Do not joke about such things, my friend. The sadness I feel for what I have done is brutal enough. For now. You are an odd one, aren't you? At least we've got something in common, I suppose. Um, well, um... Should we not gather your things? Perhaps? Uh, what do we got here? Hunting bow, iron armor. Uh, lots of arrows. A steel sword. I take it these are yours. You want to talk? Yeah, I was going to give you these. Okay, let us see what we have. It's your stuff, mate. Oh, crumbs. Okay, you've already got a load of stuff. Um... You're not too attached to this, are you? It's very valuable, is all I'm saying. I try to say that. Porn prawn bloke probably give me 60 gold for it, so never mind. Um, well, let's see. Uh, you can have that, and that, and those. And uh, apparently you can't carry the steel sword. Really? If you need anything else, just ask. Um... Oh, another wizard hat. Look at that. Um, a loot. I was going to say, do you want do you want the loot? But it doesn't look like you're terrifically fond of it. But, uh, so never mind. Um, muffled tongue necklace. Uh, no, no. In the go. Do you want your journal? You, you, Mr. Let's... Dragonfly, say hello to my friend. Mr. Dragonfly is shy and frightened of almost everything. Hello, Mr. Dragonfly. I'm sure we'll get along famously, considering we apparently have an awful lot in common. Um, we'll, we'll bring him along as well, shall we? Yes. Um, and oh, look, you've got a. Is this yours as well? We'll bring. Yep, we'll bring this too. Um, great. Very good. Oh, uh, you need shoes. I, I assume. Anyway, I don't want. I don't want to assume. I mean, I've not met many Khajiit, but. Mm -hmm. Most of them were wearing shoes, so... You give me best equipment, yes? I'll, I'll give you your equipment. How about that? Uh, here, here you go. Here, where, where the, there you go. There's your boots. Um, yeah, um... Do you, do you have a... You have a... You have a very good sword. You see, the thing is... And don't take this the wrong way, mate. Um... I don't know if you're actually going to be able to use that sword correctly. 
Um, it's an ebony sword, you see, and I've discovered that uh, if you don't have the necessary skill to wield certain kinds of weapons in this world, you won't get very far with them. Uh, it was, I'm just saying you might be better off with the steel one. Possibly, for now. We can leave it here. We can leave it here. I'm not stealing it. What's I'm not, next? I'm not stealing it. It can stay here. Look, look. One person's trash is another's treasure. Don't be surprised if you find that gone. Okay, we'll put that in the in 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 the chest, shall we? All right. Well, that's you more or less suited and booted, I think. Um, I feel like I'm your bloody mother or something. Have you got everything for school? You got your packed lunch? Have you got your books? <sighs> Come on then, let's go. I just I think we should shut shut this and maybe lock it. Um. It's that kind of town. Um, all right. Well, Inigo, I'm Nils. Pleased to meet you, even though you're quite convinced we've already met. Hi there. Do you have a moment? There's something I'd like to ask of you. Do you have any idea how creepy it is to approach strangers in a dark alley and ask them questions like that? What is it? We just got married, and <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. Right now, we need every help we can get to make our new living. Even creepier. I was wondering, just maybe, you're carrying a few things you don't have need for. Maybe a few knives or even dishes, pots, brooms, anything at all. If you could share something we can make use of, I'd really, really appreciate it. For the record, this is the strangest mugging I've ever been present in, in my life. Uh, um, so, sorry, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I, I don't have a, anything, really. Uh, I'm, I'm using it all. Uh, it's all very important s stuff. I, I don't, sorry, no. That's all right. Sorry for the bother. Okay. In it go, let's let's move along, shall we? Wow, it got dark out here very quickly, didn't it? I can't see a blooming thing right now. How can I help a brother now? <sighs> okay. Alright. It's not um It's not bloody Hallow's Eve yet or whatever it's called, alright? Just Alright. Enough for the scares, please. This town, I tell you. Um, where's my torch gone to? Oh, there we go. I thought I'd pop you down. There we go. Now I can actually see who's looming out of the shadows at me. <sighs> okay. No matter the weather, Riften always smells lovely. It is a good place to start a new adventure. Well, lovely is not the word I'd use, but okay. Um, any thoughts? No. Good. Good. Fantastic. Shall we look inside the keep? They don't seem to mind when you just walk in, stroll on in and have a look around, you know. That's two palaces I've been in so far and none of them seem to care. Have our scouts come up with any information on these reports of dragons? Hey, see, it's yes. like we're not even here. That unpleasantness Just kind of getting ignored. Involved a dragon. It killed several soldiers before it departed. I want you to speak to Don't the like the look guard. he's giving me. Let's Make uh... sure there's a contingency plan in effect in case Riften falls under attack. Hello, you must be the court wizard. Excuse my disorganization, but I'm in the middle of some delicate experiments. Um, sure, been there, done that. Um. What, um, why is he so preoccupied? Someone actually interested in what I'm doing. Amazing. Well, allow me to explain. My experimentation involves a magical construct and a reagent that will allow the construct to maintain a field of permanent harmonic energy. Um. Oh, I see. It's because I'm wearing a pointy hat as well. That's why she's telling me this. Um, I should probably act like I know what she's talking about. Um. Fascinating. Do, do go on. Aha! 
So, you're a student of theoretical applied harmonics. Yes, that's me. Putting student of Ralston's theoretical universal inversion for a moment. Applied. How would you approach the problem? Uh, sorry, what was what was Draw the question? The harmonic energy into the reagent or allow it to generate its own field. Um you um how about using calipers? Calipers? That's utterly ridiculous. Maybe long ago you could just find calipers in every household across Tamriel, but not anymore. I've got some tools you could borrow. You've given me a brilliant idea. Just as calipers hold materials in place, a soul siphon can hold magic fields in place. Yeah, there you, you see. Genius. And I'm sure you've completely worked out how to counteract complete dimensional collapse, right? Uh, uh, um, 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 you swallow a, a soul gem? Are you completely insane? Swallow a soul gem? Uh-oh. That has to be the most brilliant and Wait, unexpected solution I've heard in a long time. It solves all of my problems and keeps the field stable. Yes, of course. Now all I need... Wait, what were we talking about? Um... You... <laughs> you... Don't take this the wrong way, madam, but you appear to need some help getting organized. Yes, I could use some help with that. An assistant, perhaps? <gasps> oh, yeah, but... No, no, no. Oh. Maybe a familiar... No, too messy. Well, at any rate, organization is not my strong suit. Not at all. I need as much help as I can get. No, the feeling. In fact, if you could retrieve a few things for me, I could start on my next set of experiments. Oh, and you'll you'll teach me some spells or pay me or, or something, right? 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 Um, what, what, what do you need me to get? As you can imagine, I tend to forget things often. Leave things around. I really must learn to put these things away. What I need is my Dwemer Stirring Spoon, my Orichalcum Ingot, and my Grand Soul Gem. In fact, I could use them immediately. Bring those items back to me, and I'll be happy to experiment on you. Well, excuse me? Isn't right. I'd be happy to reward you. Right. I hope those aren't the same thing. Um, all right, point the way, and I'll go get them. Excellent. I can't wait. Well, why are you still standing here? Oh, right. You need to know where they are. Yeah. That would help. Where exactly am I going? Let's see. Last time I used the Dwemer spoon was at my dear friend Bodhi's house in Iverstead. Wait, Iverstead? Fellstar Farm, I believe it's called. The Orichalcum ingot should still be at Winterhold at Winter? the Frozen Heart what? Inn. I don't know why I didn't just take it with me. And last is the Soul Gem. I left that one in Windhelm at the White File Alchemy Shop. It was a good trade, too. Oh, well. I... I was expecting, oh, I must have dropped it down the back of the sofa or something. Not, I left it in bloody Windhelm. Uh... God. Okay, fine. <sighs> okay. Now, where did I put those spiders? Don't tell me you left the spiders down the back of the sofa. We should leave, Inigo. It's almost... I never, never, never thought I'd say this, but I think I actually miss Farringar. Okay, I cannot see anything. Right, let's get a room at the inn. You can figure your own stuff out, right? You look sure. Like you could use a drink. What do you say to some cheap mead? Cheap mead? Uh, yes. I'm selling the best mead in town for cheap. Interested? You're selling cheap mead? No, no, friend. You've got it all wrong. I'm not selling cheap mead. I'm selling good mead for cheap. Black Briar mead. Ooh. I'll sell cases of it for half of what the inns and taverns pay through the meadery. All I need is someone to deliver it for me. If anyone saw me leave Riften, they get suspicious. What kind of delivery? I need someone to take this small keg of Blackbriar mead to Wilhelm at the Villamer Inn in Arverstead. Drop it off 
and he'll trade you something for the delivery. Keep it as payment for the legwork. Oh, and if you bump into Indarin from the meadery, keep your mouth shut. He'd ride us out in a second. Right. Um. I'm, I'm gonna leave town very soon anyway. Oh, you know what? Okay, fine. I'll do it. It better be worth it, though. Good. Now get going. Do you work for the meadery, then? Sure. How do you think I get my hands on the good stuff and offer it so cheap? You think old Maven is just giving it away to anyone? Good thing she makes so much money. Makes it easier for merchandise like this to fall through the cracks. Uh, right, so what are you selling? Nothing but the best. Black Briar Me, fresh from the vat. Best of all, you don't have to pay the ridiculous prices Maven charges. So what do you say to that? I say, gimme. Here you go. Ten gold. Oh, and keep it quiet. This stuff isn't exactly easy to get a hold of at these prices. If you catch me drift. Listen, can I have a, f a few more of those? <laughs> Seven bottles. <laughs> I'm, I'm not an alcoholic, by the way. I don't want you to get the wrong impression. It's for um, ma magical purposes. I know that sounds like a rubbish excuse, but I'm telling the truth, honestly. Anyway, let's go to the inn. Have you met Balam? I'm his apprentice. He's teaching me all about being a blacksmith. Oh, I see. Good for you. If you've got the coin, Oop. you've come to the right place. Pull up a seat. Hello. Uh, yes. Um, I've got. Still got some coin, yeah. If you've got the coin, you're welcome here. Otherwise, hit the road. Nice. Um, what's the word around town? The Thieves Guild has been pushing hard to regain a foothold in this city. Rumor has it they're falling apart from the inside. Huh. Well, good, I guess. Um, yeah, I don't want a room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. And, um... Any news or rumors floating around? Here, take a look at this. Light on grey water. Oh, vampires and vampires. Ugh. Um... Cool. Alright, cheers. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Uh, okay. Sorry, I'm afraid I can't help you much right now. Are you currently in more? I'm very sorry to hear that. Um, my condolences. Uh, are we actually good? Okay, you just had someone to sort out behind the counter there. She's a bit slow, isn't she? Um, yeah, what do you want? If this is about the meadery, we can talk later. Oh, he was the one I was yeah. told not to talk What's to. The problem? Nothing. How can you like this town? How? Alright, look, I, I know I drank mead for breakfast, like an entire bottle, but I'm not an alcoholic. Honestly, I'm really not. It's It has magical properties, alright? It's a wizard thing. Look at the hat, see? Oh, now I've offended you and you're walking away. Great. Not one day in the Travelling Companion and now I've pissed him off. Great. Well, thank you very much, Kirava. Uh, I better be on my way. Um... Yeah. What's your problem? Nothing. In my head, I said you. Listen. What is on your mind? It's uh, time, we, time we got going, mate. You lead, I follow. Right. Oh, um, I'm glad glad we, we straightened out the whole light armor versus heavy armor thing. Because, um, you know. You, you should really should have said something earlier when 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 I gave you the iron armor. Why? Do did you even have iron armor if you're not skilled to use it? I have to ask. But anyway, um, right. So here's the deal, mate. Um, we need to go to a cave on the other side of um, the old big mountain over there. All right, and I'm hoping. That with two of us, we won't die nearly so quickly and horribly. That's the idea anyway. Uh, so we're looking for a big bell hammer. Which, as far as I'm aware, 
well, it's a, it's a big hammer for hitting bells with. No genius required to figure that out, but... Anyway, that's what we're looking for. Um, I'm working for the museum in solitude, you see. So, that's what we're doing. Um, there's also that thing he rather gave me. Uh, vampires in Boulderfall Cave. Vigilant of Standard has brought word of increased vampire activity in the rift, particularly in the area near Shorestone and Boulderfall Cave. Travelers should take extra caution when traveling at night. Good to know. Not going anywhere near there, then, if I can help it. And what was the other one? No on Greywater Grotto. Attention, travelers. There have been strange noises in emanating from Greywater Grotto, a cave south near the border to Cyrodiil. There's no evidence of any danger, but travelers should proceed with caution. Interesting. What is that, then? Uh, there we go. Grey Water Grotto. Uh, there! Oh, gosh, all the way down there, really. Uh, well, alright then. I'll just uh, take that off the thing for now. We don't need to worry about that for a while. Alright, let's, uh, let's get going, shall we? Chop, chop. Okay. So it's okay. It's fine. I'm just, just you know, testing things out. No need to draw your sword. I don't know you. You and Riften looking for trouble? No, but it found me all the same, didn't it? Yeah. Well, I got news for you. There's nothing to see here. Last thing the Black Briars need is some stranger sticking their nose where it doesn't belong. Who are the Black Briars, anyway? The Black Briars have rifted in their pocket, and the Thieves Guild watching their back, so keep your nose out of their business. Me? I'm Maul. I watch the streets for them. If you need dirt on anything, I'm your guy. But it'll cost you. Great. Um, cool. I'll just stay out of your way. Suit yourself. I'll be at the docks if you change your mind. Yeah. Hey, you! Get over here. I want to talk to you. I, I think we should go. Pay no attention to the mead in my I backpack. Okay, well, um, let's see. Well, it looks like unless we fancy swimming, we'll have to go right here and then go around the outside of the city. Um, and then, because I'm not going back in again. Ooh, good grief. Not with Maul waiting for me. Um, and then head down here. Could go down that way or around this way. It doesn't make much of a difference. I suppose we'll... Um... Yeah, well. Now you're here, um, I'm feeling slightly more confident about wandering around. In the wilderness? Slightly. Only slightly. Alright, uh, let's see. Lakes that way. Let's go this way. Oh, I forgot to sell your old iron armor. Bother. Um, <coughs> never mind. What, 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 what's, what's going on? What's going on? That is a troll. With an arrow in its bum. I think we're safe. Just another day, another troll hunt, eh, officer? Okay. You don't want a troll skull, do you? No, didn't think so. All right. Uh, so this way, round this big old mountain. Um. Yeah. It's quite large, isn't it? I mean, it's not throat of the world large, but it's not small. Okay, I must say, even though Rift in itself is a bit of a, um, well, a bit of an horrible place, the Rift itself is beautiful. Gotcha. Butterfly is a very important indigo for magical 
purposes once again. Um, if you see any, grab them. Also mountain flowers. Very, very useful. You'll just have to take my word for it. I can't explain, it. Can't explain why right now. Um, okay. Right, we've got we to gotta go round this way. I think. Route. It's all gone very quiet. Except for the delayed sound effects. What are you up to, Mr. Fox? Who put those who, who put those coffins there, eh? Which bloody idiot put those there? Um ooh, back door into the city. Uh and an old cart. Do I want to know what happened to the owner? Probably not. Right, I think we need to go around here and then just sort of follow around the side of the mountain. That's my plan at the moment. Again, it's very quiet, isn't it? Um. My friend. Skyrim is a big and often confusing place. We are bound to lose each other from time to time. Never fear. That map you have is special. Uh, well, this old thing. Yes. There is more to it than you may realize. My brother once found one just like it on the remains of some poor old adventurer in Citadel. It does not only mark locations, it can also show the position of items and people too. Watch this. Where are you, Inigo? There! See, I have placed myself on your map. If we find ourselves separated, all you need to do is look me up. Pretty fantastic, eh? Um... Yeah, that's, that's not bad, actually. Um, it's very impressive, thank you. No problem. I am always happy to help. Yeah, I've noticed. Um, what's this option here? Okay. Right, cool, okay. Um, that was weird. Uh, any thoughts? No. Right now, my mind is a dried-up riverbed. Full of metaphors, though. Hey, look at that. The lake looks quite pretty, doesn't it? Yeah, I gotta admit, the rift is very beautiful. <coughs> Shame about the town. Right, uh, let's, 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 let's... Okay, I saw something moving and panicked, and it's a bunny rabbit. In other words, practice. Where are you, little fairy bastard? I've not forgiven you lot for last time. Oh, you're not a fan either? Oh, good. It's lunch sword, I suppose. What is this? How peculiar. Oh, cobwebs. Ugh. Nightshade. I'm getting a very Daedric feeling about this. Just a hunch. We should probably leave. Okay. Windmill. Farmhouse. More mountain flowers. And, um, lots of trees, lots of trees and fireballs, apparently. All right. You very, very quiet, Inigo. 
Oh, that good, it's raining. Well, at least if I get set on fire, it won't be for very long. I don't even know why I'm bothering to sneak. It's not as if. That's a flame Atronach. Um, I feel like we should just wait for it to finish doing whatever it's doing and move on. But... I also have this distinct feeling for some reason that it won't actually move on. Okay, that's a troll. I don't know where it is, but I can hear it. You've been spotted. Uh, you think? Oh. Okay. I will extinguish you. Very funny. Um, but could you though? Uh, try frostbite, I guess. I don't know if that'll work. Oh, oh, it worked quite well, actually. Look at that. <laughs> okay, note to self, those things explode. Well, I made quite a mess, didn't I? Look at that. Um. Why do I have this feeling that we're still not alone? What is it you can see? What do your Khajiit eyes see in it go? Is it? Oh, it's a troll. Wait a minute, why am I the one out in front? I feel like this is the wrong way around. Okay, you don't like fire very much, do you? Nothing personal, Mr. Troll, but I have a feeling you won't leave us alone. Oh, there we go. Ooh, okay. And now I can't move. Great. Um, in you go. Can you carry some... There's another one. There's... There's... Okay, okay. Drop something heavy right now. Stupid iron armor. Go, 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 go. Okay, there's a whole family of trolls, apparently. And not a bridge in sight. How's that? Um, okay, that one's running away, but this one is not. Oh, okay. Um, keep shooting him. Go away, trolls. Be gone. Shoot. Ah, uh, Magicka. Uh, um, I've got lots of Fortify Magicka, but I don't have any... Store bleeding Magicka. Come on. There we go. And you, well, um... In you go. Try shooting the other side of the tree. Dude! There you go. That's a start. They do heal themselves, though. You're going to have to hit them a bit more frequently than that. Uh... Wait, I think we should just... Should we just... I think we should just leave it alone. I think it's running away, mate. I think I think it's had enough. I... Okay. Sorry, Mr. Troll. It's just my friend here won't just, just won't let this go for some reason. I... Okay, if this gets me killed. I shall come back and haunt you as a ghost. <sighs> okay. Listen, mate, we need to have words. I was wondering, can you whistle? Yes, why are you asking me if I could whistle after fighting some trolls? Well, it could be a good way for us to quickly communicate. Look, I found this book. It made interesting reading. Maybe you should give it a look over. Anyway, what did you want to talk about? Uh, uh, I don't know why I'm surprised by anything that comes out of your mouth anymore. Um, look, um... 
Um, mind if I ask you something? Go ahead, ask away. Uh, let's discuss combat, shall we? Yes, but let us strategize. Indeed. Um, about your aggression. Uh, anyway, um, could you please try to fight only when it's necessary? I don't really want to fight trolls if we can avoid it, please. I will resist causing a bloodbath when possible. <laughs> yes, good. Please do that. Thank you. Let us find a puddle and do some splashing. Uh, there's a very big one over there. It's called a lake. Um, right. Well, we did kill these trolls fair and square, so... Where is the other one? For some reason, they, have, they seem to have quite a bit of pocket change on them, and... Uh, you should really... It's a ebony arrows, man. You should be recovering these. Silver ring. More troll. I still don't know what troll fat does. Would you be willing to t taste some and let me observe the, um, the science? I'll take that as a no. Uh, okay. That is a wolf. Guarding a cave entrance. Trolls was enough, thank you. Packs of wolves. I could live without, certainly. Uh, now then. We are going the wrong way so dramatically right now, it's not even funny. Um, we need to go this way. Oh, goody. I had to say it, didn't I? All right, in a go. This time... We do want to fight the wolves. Also, you want to ask me something? Yeah. Look. Okay. If it's the whistling, by the way, I, I will. I will. I will read that book just just later. Okay. Um, I need to. No. Uh, I'm. Can I ask you something? Sure. Uh, about combat again. I'm afraid. Have I been misbehaving? No. It's just. Um. What are your current combat tactics exactly? I am trying to be unaggressive. Good. And in battle, I am fighting how I choose. Yeah, that's the part that we need to have a word about. Um, about your fighting style. My fighting is very stylish. That's... Yes, but that's not what I meant. Um... <laughs> um... You, uh... Look, uh, favour the blade if you can. Get in close, so I don't have to. If that's alright. Okay, I will get up close. And personal. Good. I'm glad you're on board. Great. If you need anything else, just ask. I will not hesitate to, believe me. All right. We're going to have to go past these. Let me give you some room. I, I, I did just say use the sword, not not the bow. Can we... Fine. It was a polite request, nothing more. Okay, maybe you'll just let me... Uh-oh. Uh, never mind. Bad doggies, bad, bad fire, go away. That's a big one. Pit wolves, is it? There you go. You got the, you got the, you got the idea. You got the sword and everything. No, it was not. But I would argue fire was even less so, their friend. Was that even a correct sentence? Who flipping knows? Did any of you have? Pocket change for any inexplicable reason. No, okay. Precisely what are you looking at? I, oi, I need venison, actually. Oi, come back here. Look. I don't suppose they mind if it's slightly barbecued, do they? Their death is our blessing. I'll tell you in a go, it's really weird, but for some reason I seem to be hearing sounds a few seconds after they've actually happened, if that makes any sense. It probably doesn't. It's really weird, though. Very disorientating. Uh, anyway. Uh, right, yes, you. Hello. What have we got? Mage boots, black robes, magicka regenerate 68% faster. 
Excuse me? A dwarven dagger? Don't mind if I am. Oh, no. Note to Adril. Void salts. I don't want to wear dead person robes. It won't go very well with my hat. No, you can keep your icky dead person clothes. Um, even if they are magic. And I could disenchant them, but oh, fine. Not wearing them, though. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Here you go. You want to talk? Yeah. Uh, you need to carry some stuff. What are we trading? We are trading things of a weighty nature. Ah, yeah, that would explain a lot. I'm carrying this keg of mead around with me still. Um, would you like to carry these troll pelts? Yes. There we go. Okay, let us get back to it. And by it, I believe you are referring to barbecuing every single elk I run into because I want my money. In you go. In. Oh, there you are. You can be really sneaky when you want to be. I do not enjoy being on fire. I was <laughs> I was not gonna set you on fire. Um I was just gonna say I heard voices. So why are you doing the storm? I don't want some snappy elf telling me what gods I can and can't worship. Ah, I was right. Uh oh. Your storm cloaks. And those are Imperials. And you're not fighting each other. Well, I'm glad you were able to solve this dispute amicably. That's really unexpectedly sensible of you all. Good, good. You, uh, let's get out of here before a fight does break out, shall we? Uh, ooh, chemistry, I'll have that. I bet it's useful for something. More than just damage stamina or whatever it is I discovered on it earlier. Um, I don't know why, it just feels like there ought to be a cave there. Yeah. Sort off. Fighting in the rain can be tricky, but that went pretty well. The weather is being a bit inconsistent today, isn't it? Should probably just make its mind. Ah, you! Come here, you. Dying in the rain, the perfect end to an imperfect life. It was only a deer, mate. I don't need to morally judge the deer. Morally judge the rabbits, though. Uh, I'm sure. It, I'm sure it had. A, it led a very, very wholesome life. And another troll. Magnificent. <laughs> Leading magicka again. All right. Keep it distracted. Oh. I helped. I'll take the fat. I, I've I've got enough for troll pelts to last a lifetime, and I'll probably only get like five gold for each one anyway. So, uh, okay. Um, we're looking for caves, and go. We're looking for caves, caves, and that's not a cave. What happened here? Oh, hello. Can you go where? Ah, oh, there you are. Where are you off to? Whoa, study there. Hello, Mr. Khajiit, sitting inside a chest, as you do. 
Hello, traveler. You look tired. Perhaps Drobar can assist. How is that? For starters, he has ten bottles of mead with your name on them. Well, they will, as soon as he finds a pen. In an unrelated question. Do you have a pen he can borrow? No, I've been looking for one myself, actually. Um... Uh, um, um, why do you need a pen? Whose name's on the bottles now? Right now, Drobar's own name. He puts them on all his things. But he shares it with someone named Black Briar. Uh, <laughs> is your name Black Briar? If so, perhaps there is no need for a pen. Um. <laughs> Um, what, what happened to this house, man? Drobar is not sure. Perhaps the Circle of Candles is a clue. Also the corpse. Okay. One thing Drobar does know is that whoever this was, he did not write his name on the shack. Drobar has looked everywhere, and it is clear the place now belongs to him. Why is every Khajiit I run into these days completely tapped? Um, you've hoarded a lot of items, it seems. Yes. Drabar has always been luckier than most. He is always finding things on the ground that do not have anyone's name on them. Why do you write your name on everything? He asked. Not sure exactly what the answer was going to be. That is how Drobar knows what is his. It has always been this way. Otherwise, one of the other orphans will wear his ox. I see. He's quite, amu quite an amusing fellow. He seems mostly harmless. Maybe we should humor him. Can I get a tour of the place? Of course. Right this way. Over here are some rare plates he found in a pot. They are made of a special wood that comes from trees. Very valuable in value. This is right. a vessel full of wine bottles. They used to be full of wine, but a high elf came by one day and brought her name on them. But they are still valuable for the glass. Very good material for making windows. The name wasn't Elderwind by any chance, was it? He's where Drobar keeps his torches and each focus. Very handy if you want to start there. Lastly, I like this guy. This is where Drobar sleeps and keeps a record of his belongings. Yeah. He would move the piles of burnt wood, but he is not sure if they belong to another. Robar cannot tell if there are names on them. I was about to say, and also that's a neat trick. You were ventriloquist. Uh, anyway, um... Uh, thank you for the tour. You have a lovely home. You are most welcome. Drobar has lived a blessed life. It is only right that he share it. Drobar would even offer you his most treasured secrets. If his memory could recall what it was. Uh, is there anything I could do to help you remember? He said the word treasure, and now I'm interested. Perhaps if you help Drobar find his lucky gold coin. That always helps him remember the important things. Oh, okay. Um... I suppose you left it in bloody solitude or something like that. Mad old court wizard. It's around here somewhere, right? I hope. Oh, hello. Is this, is this it? Maybe? I guess we'll find out. Um, he has lots of boots. Better not take them, I suppose. Um, 
you could do with a decent pair of boots, but um, I don't know what he'll do if we take them without his permission. Doesn't have our names written on them after all. Uh, maybe it's one of these. Or these. I'm just going to pick up all the gold coins and, and hopefully one of them will be the lucky coin. I don't know. Um, what a mess. I am in your way. I am sorry. I, yeah. So no, no, it's 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 it's, it's fine. Um. Uh. Well, um. I haven't really. Ah. No. I found some gold coins. I don't think. But none of them stood out, stood out particularly. Black Briar may someday come for his mead, but food spoils. So there is no rule against putting yeah, Drobar's name on it. Oh, my imagination. Um, what's so special about this coin? It is the first thing that Drobar ever picked up off the ground. He was very excited to find it. Until he learned it belonged to an emperor named Septim. <laughs> but later, Drobar learned that the Septim is not an emperor. He is actually a dead man. So Drobar carved his name into this coin, just as he does with everything else. Alright, I didn't find any like that, so, um. Drobar! I think I might know where your coin is. Really? Where? Did you check your pockets by any chance? His pockets? Of course. That must be where Drobar left the pen. In this same place as his lucky coin. Hooray. Um, so, do you, do you remember what the secret was? Not right now. But Drobar has a feeling he will remember soon. Oh. Go where the sands are warm. I will do that. Great. Well, okay. He was quite an amusing fellow, I'll admit. It wasn't a total waste of time. But um anyway, and I'm, you know, technically a few gold richer. I hope he doesn't mind. Um Right, anyway. Uh, I almost said coins there. No, caves. Caves is what I'm looking for. 